Welcome back. So this is a continuing look at step sequences, primarily in Ableton using Max for Live. Um, but occasionally we're going to have some stuff from uh, other manufacturers like Native Instruments and so on. The thing to kind of appreciate like about me and the sorts of things I like to do, I like to have them like parameters running in kind of unequal kind of divisions. Um, because what this essentially does is it can take a very simple line and then transform it into something that's much more complex. So rather than complexity being a, a difficult sort of line or thing or idea that you sort of program by hand or something similar into, uh, into, uh, into a clip, you actually just uh, begin to offset a, a number of parameters that are running at different time bases. And as they sort of run out of phase with each other and then come back into phase you essentially have complexity but it's a it's not really organic but it kind of feels like a more natural type of complexity so that's what the idea is here so essentially we've got uh, rosa which is this sequencer here it's uh, quite a difficult one to look at sometimes with that white background uh, we have operator I'm just using three voices. So I've got the uh, octave below the sub, then voice two, and then I have another one up here. Let me try and bring that one up. Operator three. So we have that. Okay, so that's kind of the sound. It's a bit of a West Coast type sort of sound, kind of simulating something that's a bit like a low pass gate. Um, essentially I've taken the envelope down for operator one which essentially controls the tightens the sound up so there are a number of tabs here that give us you know parameters to go through so what we have here in terms of the notes is running in 16 steps we can vary the number of steps we want to you've also got a means of being able to either um, push the pattern forward or backwards and change its relationship there you can also randomize it as well if that's what you want to do but one of the first places that i like to kind of look at stuff is the, is this addition of the octave so here the octaves are running in in a in a sequence of fives so essentially you know these five um sort of commands to change or switch octave essentially operate on these notes here which kind of creates the variety that we encounter similar things about velocity which is here and again you know you can you can work on sort of quite radical sort of velocity shifting if that will work with a particular sort of sound at the moment i'm not really using the uh, control the uh, the cc numbers here these aren't really assigned to anything but again it gives you some sort of opportunity to create additional variations if you you know like an operator when you can assign it to uh, to, a, to modulate a particular parameter so we leave the control changes alone so essentially we're just really looking at these the interaction of these three elements here let me take the octaves up octaves down and we also have the uh, the stage so we can turn sort of things on and off right which adds another layer of complexity to our sequence. a lot of possibilities there's a there's kind of a quite a rich environment to actually explore and there are lots of things you can do with the step sequencer that are 
not necessarily just about sort of repeating uh, robotic like uh, patterns, even though I'm quite a fan of robotic patterns as well. Okay, so if you like what you've heard, please remember to like and subscribe, and see you next time.